Hello everyone, welcome back to Tula Tula, my favorite game reserve in the whole of South Africa. We return here every year to see our old friends, the elephants, and enjoy delicious French cuisine and beautifully decorated lodges. In the description box below, you will find the links to the videos of our previous visits to Tula Tula, where I talk more about some individual characters of this amazing elephant family. Our safari guide, Andrew, has a special connection with the elephants. He knows their temperaments and habits and always shares his knowledge with the guests. It is not every day you see a young buffalo frolicking in the savanna like a happy puppy on the lawn. A lucky zebra stallion with his harem. Oh, ladies all line up. Oh, no. Are these all ladies? I think this is just one harem here. Wildebeest on some urgent mission. This was the cutest scene during the morning game drive. Not quite a baby elephant was suckling milk from his mother. You can even hear the suckling sound. How cute is that? Yogurt and cucumber soup for lunch and keeping monkeys away from the restaurant. It was a heritage day in South Africa, so the lodge staff dressed in their beautiful national attire and showed us some traditional Zulu dances. A pair of beautiful Nala antelopes grazing peacefully next to our lodge. We enjoyed the chorus of frogs at the dam as the sky was changing colors in the afterglow of sunset. Followed by delicious dinner to the sound of the crackling fire pit. At the start of a new day, we are off for a morning game drive. Some roads are quite bumpy and you are guaranteed to get your free bush massage. These are bush lawn mowers, white rhinoceroses, whose diet consists of grass. Rhinos are massive, so unsurprisingly a group of rhinos is called a crash. This big bull's name is Rambo. Rambo is given a right to a flock of oxpeckers who peck parasites off his skin. But when they go inside his ears, it is a bit too much. Cape buffaloes wallowing in the mud. A warthog, better known as Pumba from the Lion King, but without his friend Timon, because meerkats don't live in our province. And back to the elephants. If you want to learn more about this remarkable elephant family, I highly recommend reading the book the Elephant Whisperer, written by Lawrence Anthony, the late owner of Tula Tula, and two books by his wife, Francoise. 
These books will tell you about the plight of the original herd, about each member of the family, and the joys and challenges of a life dedicated to conservation. On some game drives, we were joined by a young scientist who came to Tula Tula to study the effects of contraception on the elephant's health and behavior. Apart from observing and filming the elephants, she collected the samples of elephant poo for further analysis. Charming. This handsome giant is my favorite boy, Gobiza. He is the eldest bull in the herd, and he was brought to Tula Tula to be a role model for younger bulls and teach them good manners. Gobisa and Jürgen, what about them? Flirting lately. Oh, okay. Just Southern ground hornbill. They are the biggest of all hornbills, with the height of one meter and a wingspan of one and a half meters. They are carnivorous birds. They eat insects, reptiles, and small mammals. They can live up to 50 years in the wild. Then we spotted a rock monitor and later his bigger cousin, a Nile monitor, who can reach up to two meters in length. Both monitors feed on smaller reptiles, mammals, and sometimes carry on. Nile monitor is more aggressive by nature and is always best to be left alone. By whipping his tail, he can break a small mammal's neck or a human child's arm or leg. Young male impalas, or bachelors as they are known, spend a lot of time practicing their fighting skills. A greater white egret, a blacksmith lapwing or plover. Egyptian geese. The Mkulu Dam is home to a family of hippos, crocodiles and lots of aquatic birds and is a favorite spot for sundowners after the game drive. A trumpeter hornbill's call resembles the cry of a baby lost in the bush.
red-billed oxpeckers are always perched on large African mammals, looking for ticks, insects and larvae that live on or under the animal skin. A female kudu. Cape buffalo is one of the most dangerous African animals due to its unpredictable temperament. Wildebeest call resembles that of a domestic cow. <laughs> This wildebeest bull decided to make a scrape smack in the middle of the road. But then, after some deliberation, he graciously let us drive by. You can often see this strange looking growth on the horns of dead animals. This is the feces of a horn eaten moth larvae. One adult elephant can eat up to 200 kilograms of plant matter in a day. Their diet consists of leaves, grass, branches, tree bark and roots. Elephants grab their food with their trunks and only 40% of the food is digested. Elephants live not only in Africa, but in Asia too. However, the Asian elephants are much smaller in size and have differently shaped ears and trunks. Interestingly enough, only male Asian elephants have tusks, and not all of them at that. A traditional photo with our ranges. Thank you all for watching. See you in my next videos. Bye!